everyone. My name is Pastor Eke Chukwisi and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today we are beginning another 10-day series which is titled Back to Sender Prayers Using Psalm 35. Back to Sender Prayers Using what? Psalm 35. Praise the Lord. Now, these prayers is targeted at those adversaries in your life that are actively attacking you. This prayer is targeted at those whom Satan will raise against you this year to stop you from attaining the height that God has prepared for you. Praise the Lord. The Bible said, Jesus said, be wise as serpents, but be gentle as those. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said, it, it is the violent that taketh it by force. A lot, a lot of Christians will come and say, Pastor, why don't you just leave vengeance to God? Now listen to me. God will only avenge when you ask him to. Because the Bible said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Now, if you don't ask for vengeance, God will not avenge. In the, vengeance is in the hands of God. For example, we are praying. It is God that answers. God will only answer when his children cry out to him. Read the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1. He said the, the, the widow, when he started talking about the parable of the widow, he said the widow was saying, avenge me of my adversaries. Avenge me. Now, if the widow had not cried for vengeance, the king would never have given her vengeance. She cried for vengeance. When we cry unto the Lord, oh God, arise and stop those who are stopping my progress. God will arise. God will arise. God will arise and stop those who are stopping your progress. There are adversaries. There are people who Satan has programmed to destroy your life. There are people who Satan has programmed to keep you in perpetual poverty. There are people who Satan has programmed to stop your progress in your marriage, to stop your progress in your business, to stop your progress in your, in your career. You must resist those devils. Either in human form or in spirit form, you must resist them. And how do you resist them? On the altar of prayer. On the altar of prayer. Praise the Lord. So this back to sender prayer series that we are starting is going to be a 10 day prayer series. I encourage you do not miss it. We are going to be touching every area of life. We are going to be releasing warfare prayer. Back to sender prayers. Touching every area of your life. Now listen to me. Anyone that says they will work against you this year, they will work against themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that will try to stop you this year, they will stop themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that say you will not have peace this year, they will continue to fall from one level of calamity to another in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil, after your life, will give up on you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is bent on afflicting you and doing you evil, their evil will return back to their heads in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Psalm 35 tells us from the beginning, he said, plead my cause, O Lord, with thee that strive with me. He said, fight against those that fight against me. You know what God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12? He said, I will bless those that bless you. And I will cause anyone that causes you. In other words, those that wish you well, I will wish them well. Those that fight against you, I will fight against them. That was what God told Abraham under the covenant of grace before the law. He told Abraham, you see, this covenant that we are entering, I will bless them that bless you. And I will cause them that cause you. David said, fight against those that fight against me. That was why David did not lose any battle because he knew how to activate the God of battle center. Those that are shooting arrows against me, let their arrows return back to them. He said, turn the cancel of Ahithophel to foolishness and God did it. Ahithophel was trying to cancel Absalom to go and kill David but God returned his cancer back to sender and Ahithophel ended up dying. Praise the Lord. So that will be the portion of anyone that tries to hurt you this year. In Acts chapter 12, Herod rose against the church and began to kill the apostles. But when the church began to pray, it was a back to send a prayer. You were coming to kill us. You yourself will be killed. And what did what happened? The angel of the Lord appeared in Genesis in Acts chapter 12 and killed Herod. Praise the Lord. So with the God of back to sender is still real. 
He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Anyone that is wishing you failure, they will see failure in their life. Anyone that is wishing you to be broke and to be perpetually in poverty, poverty will be their harvest forever. Anyone that wants your children to be useless in life, their own children will end up being useless in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is wishing you evil, anyone that is wishing you death or planning your death, they will die your death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe we are set to pray this prayer. Praise the Lord. I believe we are set to pray these prayers. Now, before we go into the prayers, I want to encourage you. If this is your first time in this channel, this is the first time you are here, I encourage you to be part of this channel. Be a, 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 a subscriber. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. This is a channel where we resist the devil by fire, by force. This is a channel where we have no tolerance for the wickedness of the wicked. This is the channel where we give it to the devil the way the devil deserves it. Praise the Lord. Satan avoids Christians that pray like this. Witches and wizards avoid Christians that pray like this. In this channel, we are violent in the spirit. We are what we are violent in the spirit. We don't take nonsense from the devil. So I encourage you to be part of this channel and Satan will back off your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your gentility is too much. Your gentility is becoming too much. That is why Satan is always taking you for a ride. But from today, as you become part of this channel, the devil will see your red eye. The devil will see the lion in you. And Satan will give up on your life forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the like, bell notification button. Hit the like button and you'll be blessed. Thank you for subscribing in Jesus' name. Amen. Now to the prayer. Father, I thank you. Pray this prayer with me. Father, I thank you for you are the God of back to sender. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God of back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for you are the God of back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rebanate Kushagala. Father, I thank you for you are the God of back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are my back to sender God. You are the God that returns the arrows of the enemies against my life back to sender. You said in your word that if they come against me in one direction, they will flee away from me in seven directions. Father, I thank you for you are the back to sender God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. I give you praise. I thank you for you are the back to to send that God in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, Jehovah, my God. I thank you for you are the back to send that God in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. I thank you, Lord, for you are the back to send that God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Father, I will give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Pray this next prayer. Father, I thank you for your mercy over my life that is new every morning. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you for your mercy, your unconditional mercy, your unlimited mercy that is new over my life that is new every morning. Thank you for his mercy. Father, I thank you for your unlimited mercy, for your unstoppable mercy, for your unfinishable mercy over my life that is new every morning. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, Thank you for your mercy over my life that is new every morning. Jehovah, I thank you for your unending mercy over my life that is new every morning. Lord, I give you praise. Father, I thank you for your mercy over my life that is new every morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now pray this prayer. My father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. Cause everyone who has dug a pit for me to fall into that pit this year. In the mighty name of just lift up your voice and pray a prayer. My father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. Cause everyone who have dug a pit for me to fall in. Let them fall into that same pit this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer from your heart. Oh God, my father, my father, my fighter. Cause everyone who have dug a pit for me to fall into that pit this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, they have dug a pit for me to fall in, in my marriage, they will fall into that pit. They have dug a pit for me to fall in my business, they will fall into that pit. My father, my fighter, cause everyone who have dug a pit for me 
to fall in. Let them fall into that pit this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father, my fighter, cause everyone, every wicked devil, every wicked human agent that have dug a pit for me, let them fall into that same pit. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them fall into that same pit. In the mighty name of Jesus, they created the lion's den for Daniel, but they and their family were thrown into that den. They created, uh, they created a gallows. Haman created a gallows for Mordecai, but Haman fell into the same gallows that he created for Mordecai. Father, my Lord, cause everyone who have dug a pit for me, cause them to fall into that same pit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Let me get my paper. Next prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Next prayer. My father, my father, cause everyone who sets a trap for me, for my life, to fall into that same trap. In the mighty name of God, lift up another prayer. Oh God, my father, my fighter, my father, my defender, Jehovah, the man of war. Cause everyone who has set a trap for me to fall into that same trap in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray prayer. Lift up your voice and pray prayer. My father, my fighter, cause everyone who has set a trap for me to fall into that same trap in the mighty name of Jesus. Reko taba ne kosha gale tu zizi matato lebre de mama tota gila kaskora badiande my father my fighter cause everyone who have set a trap for me to fall into that same trap in the mighty name of Jesus my father my fighter cause everyone who have set a trap for me. Cause them to fall into that same trap in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Pray this prayer with passion. Arise, O God, and fight against all who fight against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, O Lord. You are my God of war. Arise, O God, and begin to fight against all those who are fighting against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, arise, O God, arise, O God, and begin to fight against all those who are fighting against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord, arise, O God, arise, O God, and begin to fight against all those who are fighting against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, O God, my Father, my Lord, arise and begin to fight against all those who are fighting against me. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, my Father, arise, my God, arise, O Lord, and begin to fight against them. Fight against those that fight against me in the day, fight against those that fight against me in the night. Fight against those that fight against me in the dream. Fight against those that fight against me in the physical. Fight against those that fight against me in my marriage. Arise, O Lord, and fight against those that fight against me in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, O Lord, and fight against all those who are fighting against me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, let all who trouble my life know no peace in the mighty name of Jesus Father, let everyone that troubles my life, may they not find peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Trouble those that trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh God, and trouble my troublers. Trouble my troublers. Trouble my troublers. Trouble my troublers. Trouble those that trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O oh Lord, and trouble those that trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my fighter. Arise, O oh Lord, and trouble my troublers. Trouble my troublers. Trouble my troublers, trouble my troublers in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord, and trouble my troublers, trouble my troublers in the mighty name of Jesus. Trouble them that trouble me, trouble them that trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that give me no peace, give them no rest, give them no peace. Arise, O Lord, 
and trouble my troublers. Arise, O Lord, and trouble my troublers. Arise, O Lord, and trouble my troublers. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. My father, my fighter. Pray these prayers with me. These prayers, they are prayers that your life depends on. Pray this prayer with all your heart. My father, my fighter, cause every wicked person pursuing me to stumble and fall, never to rise again. In the mighty name of just lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Oh God, my father, cause every wicked man that pursues me or that is pursuing me to stumble and fall, never to rise again. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. My father, my fighter, my father, my fighter, cause every wicked man, wicked woman, pursuing my life to stumble and fall, never to rise again. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer with all your heart. My father, my fighter, cause every wicked man pursuing my life and destiny to stumble and fall never to rise again in the mighty name of jesus my father my fighter cause every wicked person pursuing my life to stumble and fall never to rise again in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus it is done in jesus name Amen. Next prayer. Let's pray. My Father, my God, sabotage every satanic machinations against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says you frustrate the devices of the wicked. Oh God, sabotage every satanic machinations of the wicked against my life. Against my progress, against my prosperity, against my breakthrough, against my marriage. Every evil machination, every satanic machination against my life, sabotage in the mighty name of Jesus, sabotage in the mighty name of Jesus, sabotage every satanic machination against my business, against my progress, sabotage in the name of Jesus, sabotage every satanic machinations against my business against my progress in the mighty name of jesus sabotage it lord 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 every satanic machinations against my progress sabotage it lord in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ amen next prayer let every evil desire of the wicked against my life, let it be their harvest. Let it backfire on their heads. In the mighty name of Jesus, those that wish me well, let it be well with them. Those that wish me calamity, let calamity backfire on their head. Those that wish me untimely death, let untimely death be commonplace in their life. Those that wish me poverty, let poverty be their garment. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, Cause the desires of the wicked over my life to become their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, cause the desires of the enemies over my life, let it become their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, cause every desire of the wicked over my life to be their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, those that bless me, let blessings reach them. Those that curse me, let curses be their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those that wish me evil, let evil be their harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord for answered prayers. Father, we give you praise. Jesus, we adore you. Ancient of days, we magnify you. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all adoration. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. It is done. You are settled. The God of back to sender has answered you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you are yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be blessed by this channel. Tomorrow again is another episode. Don't miss it. 
The God of back to sender will answer you speedily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you. My name is Amen Pastor Eke Chukutine Dome, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Eke Chukutine Dome, and I'm your host in Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today we shall be continuing our second episode of our prayer series, which is Back to Sender Prayers Using Psalm 35. Back to Sender Prayers Using Psalm 35. Now, Back to Sender Prayers is simply overturning the evil of the wicked against your life back to them. Is simply returning their evil desires, returning their evil works that is perpetuated against you back to them. They want you to be sacked from your place of work. It will backfire and they themselves will be sacked. They want you to be kicked out of your marriage. It will backfire and they themselves will be kicked out. They want you to be thrown into the lion's den. It will backfire and they themselves will be thrown into the lion's den. They want you to die. They, they are looking for a way to poison you, to kill you, to assassinate you. But it will backfire and they themselves will experience their desires towards your life. That is what back to sender prayers is. Back to sender prayers is targeted for those who will not stop pursuing your life and destiny until they are stopped. Praise the Lord. The God of back to sender is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He knows how to return the evil of the evil one back to them. He said that your enemies shall come to you in one direction. He said, but they shall flee from you in seven directions. They came against you one way, but they are running away from you in seven directions. In other words, their attack returns back to them seven times. Their attack returns back to them seven times. Praise the Lord. So, that is why we are praying this kind of prayers because there is wickedness in this world, sir. There is wickedness. There are people who Satan has, are using every day as instrument of wickedness. Your worst enemy could be that your closest friend. Your worst enemy could be someone in your place of work. Your worst enemy could even be your blood brother. A lady was sharing with me yesterday how the husband's younger brother stabbed her, literal stabbing, stabbed her with a dagger behind her back in the night. He said they had, an, they had a problem and the brother said, I am going to kill you. I am going to kill you. The brother told she thought it was just an ordinary threat. But a few days after, in the night, she was just going to the house and somebody came from behind and stabbed her in the back. And it was a miracle that she succeeded, survived. The knife almost got to her spine. Praise the Lord. And the brother was he's still there. The, the, the man carried down the threat. Wickedness is real, sir. Wickedness is real. People are evil. The, not everybody you see walking around or driving or in your workplace is a human being. Many of them have been taken over by the devil. How, who would have told if Daniel had if they had told Daniel that these your colleagues that are laughing with you every day are planning to kill you? They would never believe. He would never have been. He would never have believed. Praise the Lord. That is why we pray this type of prayers because we are limited as human beings. You don't know who hates you. This, we live in a world today where it is, diff, it is becoming more and more difficult for you to know an enemy. There are some people that just saw your picture on Facebook or on any of the social media platforms. They just saw your, your, your picture and they began to plot against you. They say, oh, this girl is like she's, she's succeeding now. Don't worry, we're going to do something about it. They began to plot against you. You have not offended them. In fact, the picture you was uploaded on this media was not even real. You were slapping in front of a car that is not even your own. And they have concluded that, oh, you have been blessed to the point that you now have a car. We are going to see how you go for that. A lot of people have died mysteriously by wickedness. And that is why we pray this type of prayer. Because this type of prayer is your spiritual charm. It is your spiritual protection prayer. When you are praying this type of prayers, even when enemies you don't know are fighting against you, God will be answering your prayers by turning their evil against them. 
Praise the Lord. They are called spiritual protection prayers, spiritual defense prayers, spiritual uh, uh, fortification prayers. Praise the Lord. So I encourage you to pray these prayers with me with all your heart today. Today we are going to be praying back to send our prayers against every attack that is targeted at your family. We are going to be focusing on your family, which includes your husband, your wife, your children, your loved ones, people you care about, yourself included, people you care about. Any evil that devil has planned against your family members, your loved ones, will return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are people in your life right now that if something bad happens to them, it's as good as something bad has happened to you. There are people in your life right now, if they die, you will be miserable. Because you love them, they are part of your family. There are people today in your life, if anything bad happens to them, you will be miserable. In fact, you would rather wish it happened to you than to them. You cannot bear to see them suffer. You cannot bear to see them, to, to lose them. They are your family. So we're going to be praying for all those categories of people today. Every evil arrow of hell will return back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you set to pray? Now, quickly before we go to the prayer. I want to encourage you, if it's your first time in this channel, this is your channel. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. We pray powerful prayers here. We pray warfare prayers, resistance prayers. Prayers that will put the devil in a point of defense. The devil, the, the devil goes for defense when we begin to pray. We pray offensive prayer, attacking prayers. The wicked cannot stand us. I encourage you to be part of this family so that you will be under the protection of these prayers. You'll be under the protection of these prayers. If we, every day we release powerful prayers that can bless you and change your story. And for some time now, we'll be doing series after series. The Lord bless you as you subscribe in the mighty name of Jesus. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of these prayers. Pray them. Play them when you are driving. Play them in your house. Play them when you are cooking. Let them be praying now. Ribo Sekura Mantena Kaskia. As you subscribe today, I see God do great works in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you now set to pray this prayer with me? Now lift up your hands to heaven and say, Father, I thank you for you are the God of my family. Pray that prayer with me. Pray that prayer with me. Father, I thank you for you are the God of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, my family do not, we do not trust in chariots, we do not trust in horses, but we trust in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus Christ is his name. Father, I thank you for you are the God of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, my rego sebrendo sabanda, lego de masita. Father, I thank you for you are the God of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the God of my family. Benos kebrande, benos re de sozo matende, matala mayanda la bashanda. Father, I thank you for you are the God of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you praise. Jehovah, I thank you. My Lord and my God, I bless your name. For you are the God of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I give you praise and bless your name, for you are the God of my family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I give you praise. Jehovah, I thank you. My Lord and my God, I appreciate you, for you are the God of my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jehovah, I thank you, for you are the God of my family. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I thank you. Jesus, Lord, I give you praise. I bless your holy name for you, Lord, are the God of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh, Lord, let your mercy flow like a river over my family. Forgive every one of us our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and let your mercy overrule judgment over my family. In the mighty name of God, begin to plead for his mercy. Let your mercy flow like a river. Let it flow like a river over my family. Let your mercy flow like a river. Let your mercy flow like a river. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow over my family. Let it flow. Lord, let it flow. Overruling every judgment. Forgiving us of our sins and our shortcomings. Let your mercy flow, Lord. 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 Reben dus carabande, lebrende dus candalabande. Lebrende dus carabande, lebrende dus candalabande. Let your mercy flow. Let your mercy flow. Let your mercy flow. Forgiving us of our sins and overruling every judgment of the enemy against us. 
let your mercy flow, Lord. Over my family, let your mercy flow. Let your mercy flow. Let your mercy flow, my Jesus. Let your mercy flow, my Lord. Over every judgment, over oh, let it overrule every judgment coming against my loved ones. Let it overrule every judgment coming against my loved ones. Lord, let your mercy flow. Forgive us of our sins, wipe us clean, and let your mercy prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, arise and defend my family from the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And defend my family from the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And defend my family from the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Rebata le kosi kori gadamateno. Zirendelente. Bregenosa barata. Zikoragandosa. Zemaleta. Zonjarada banayataka. Oh God. Larise and defend my family from the hands of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rada basha kata ya da basi kuru matika eze netene nondo nondo nomondo. Oh God, arise and defend my family from the hands of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, rete koshanda na ma yete kuru bose kiri adaba e bara daba ya daba legenegede. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And defend my family from the hands of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. And defend my family from the hands of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen to me. The Lord just showed me a scene of an accident right now in a particular family. You are just driving and there was wood, wood on the road. And uh, some people tried to rob you, something like that. But out of fear, you pushed, you drove fast to pass them. Praise the Lord. And in the, in the process, you entered into a ditch. Praise the Lord. The Lord just showed me that picture right now. But I decree and I declare that that incident will not happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord that has shown us this before it happens has averted it for you. You will never be a victim of hired killers on the road. You will never be a victim of kidnappers. You will never be a victim of armed robbers in the mighty name of Jesus. That road that you will go through and they will attack you, you will not go through that road this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. That attack is averted for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, next prayer. Next prayer. Pray this prayer with me. With me. I return to sender. Every evil arrow of death. Targeted at my family. Untimely death. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer right now. I return to the Back to the sender. I return to the sender. Every evil arrow of untimely death, sudden death, premature death, targeted at my family, I return it back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. I return to the sender. Every satanic arrow of untimely death, targeted at my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I return to the sender. I return to the sender. Every arrow of untimely death targeted at my loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. No member of my family will die young in the mighty name of Jesus. No member of my family will die untimely in the mighty name of Jesus. That sudden death, that silent killer, it is removed from my family right now in the mighty name of Jesus. No member of my family will slump 
and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of the red gada basokoto, read the sike breno kota. No member of my family will die untimely. We shall all be called old men and old women in our lifetime. We shall see our children, our children's children, and our children's children's children. In the mighty name of Jesus, no weapon, every arrow of untimely death returns to the sender now. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of untimely death returns back to the sender now. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of untimely death returns back to the sender now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. We're going to be returning to the sender every arrow of disunity and chaos in every home. Let, next prayer. I command every arrow of chaos and this unity shot in my family to return to the center. Whatever is making us fight against each other, whatever is making us hate one another, whatever is making problems and chaos to emanate in our family, that evil of disunity, that arrow of disunity, that arrow of chaos, I return it back to the center. In the mighty name of God, begin to pray that prayer right now. Every arrow of disunity, every arrow of chaos in my family, I return it back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of disunity, every arrow of chaos, I return them back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, arrow of disunity, arrow of chaos, I return you back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, arrow of disunity, arrow of chaos, I return you back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of disunity, every arrow of chaos, I return you back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of disunity, every arrow of failure, of, 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 of disunity, of chaos, I return it back to the sender. Whatever has taken peace away from our family, I return it back. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow that is causing chaos in our marriage, in our family, chaos and disunity, I return it back to the camp of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer. Next prayer. Pray this prayer with me. Oh God, turn every family curse to family blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Turn every family curse in our family. Everything that looks like a curse repeating itself. Evil family pattern in our family. Let it be torn to family blessings. In other words, if if delay in marriage is a family cause in my in my family, let it let there be harvest of marriages in the name of Jesus. If there is poverty as a cause, let it turn to riches in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, every family cause. If it's a cause of untimely death, let it be let it turn to long life. If it's a cause of sickness and disease, let it turn to divine health. Every family cause, turn it, Lord, to family blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. My father, my father, turn every family curse to family blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, my father and my Lord, turn every family curse to family blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, turn every family curse to family blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my Lord, turn every family cause to family blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, every family cause working against my family, turn it now, turn it Lord, to family blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, every cause is reversed to blessings in my family right now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Next prayer. Next prayer. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I return to sender. Praise the Lord. Sorry. Next prayer. I decree today that prosperity must reign in my family. In the mighty name of God. Make that declaration with boldness. I decree today that prosperity must reign in my family. No more lack. No more ups and downs. No more struggling. No more slow motion prosperity. From today, prosperity must reign in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare from today, prosperity must reign 
in my family in the name of Jesus Rabana Katanaba Regeneketelege from today I decree prosperity must reign in my family in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ I decree from today prosperity must reign it must reign in my family in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and I declare from today prosperity must reign it must find full expression it must find practical expression it must find full practical expression in my family from today from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen make this decree again with me no weapon formed against my family my husband my wife my children my loved ones shall prosper in the mighty name of God, no weapon customized from the enemy, no weapon formed by the enemy consigning my family this year and beyond shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, make that declaration tonight. From today, I decree and I declare that no weapon formed against my family shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you believe that, begin to appreciate the Lord over your family. Father, I thank you. As for me and my house, we are dangerously protected in the mighty name of Jesus. As for me and my house, we are exempted from all evil. As for me and my family, we are exempted from all evil of the devil. As for me and my family, we are shielded from wicked and unreasonable human beings. As for me and my family, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. As for me and my family, no devil shall prevail. As for me and my family, we are operating under the unlimited blessings of God. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. You are blessed in the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your family is blessed. Your family is protected. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' great name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I encourage you to subscribe. If you are yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. And also like this video. And the Lord will bless you more and more in the mighty name of Jesus. Tomorrow again, we are going to be continuing another episode that will bless you richly. So join us and you'll be glad you did in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Tilly Pastor Ike Chubichini Dumi, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe in Jesus' great name. Amen. God bless you. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ike Chubichini Dumi, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today we shall be continuing our day three of back to sender prayers using Psalm 35. Back to sender prayers using Psalm 35. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is our third day of this series and it's a very powerful series where we are returning evil that is sent by evildoers back to them. You know what God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12? He said, I will bless them that bless you. In other words, anyone that bless you, blessings will return back to the sender. And I will curse anyone that curses you. In other words, anyone that curses you, curses will return back to the sender. That is the God we serve. And that is his covenant with Abraham. And the Bible made it clear to us in Galatians that we are the sons and daughters of Abraham. He said, if ye be in Christ, ye are seeds of Abraham. Praise the Lord. And what did God tell Abraham our father? He said, anyone that blesses you, I will bless. If anyone curses you, I will curse. Praise the Lord. I will curse. Now, that is why, that is, that is simply back to sender. When the enemy is cursing you, the curse is returned back to them as a descendant of Abraham, as a seed of Abraham. Any evil arrow sent to you returns back to the sender. Praise the Lord. It returns what? Back to the sender. Every believer must understand this. Praise the Lord. You don't negotiate with evil. You don't try to negotiate with the devil. The devil is wicked. The devil is wicked. Yesterday, one of my daughters called me and we have been praying over her life and God has delivered her from the spirit of madness. The, 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 somebody placed a spell of madness on her life for more than 10 years. Not just her, it has started trickling to her children. 
but God had delivered her. And when the revelation came, it was discovered that her biological parents, the woman is in Nigeria, her parents are in the United States of America, her biological parents were paying a witch doctor to put madness on their own daughter. Why? Because they, they, they don't have control over her family. Because she had told them, no, you cannot control our family. We, our family will serve God. We will not serve your gods. We will not serve your, 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 your juju. We will not serve your idols. And they invoke madness on this woman for more than 10 years until prayers like this delivered her. She said she prayed our prayers every night and God delivered her through prayers. Hallelujah. And I told her that that madness will return back to the center. And that little doctor must die in the mighty name of Jesus. So you don't negotiate with evil. The world we live in is a wicked world. It's a wicked world. There are adversaries. There are highly demonized adversaries. People who have sold their soul to the devil. People who, even if you are praying for their salvation, is a waste of time because they are not ordained to salvation. They are set on their wicked ways. The Bible called them adversaries. These are the people that David wrote Psalm 109 for. These are the people that David wrote Psalm 35 for. He said, fight against them. Now fight against me. He said, plead my cause, O Lord, with thee that strive with me. You know, people that are striving with you are your opponents. And opponent, another word for opponent, are adversaries. They are contending with you. They are contending with you. Anybody in competition with you, there is no negotiation. It's either they are there or you are there. But listen to me. As you follow up in this series, anybody who have said they will spend the rest of their life troubling you, my God will return trouble to them a hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that say you will not drink water in peace and drop cup, God will never give them peace all the days of their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The God of back to sender, the God of back to sender shall answer you speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When Haman sought to destroy Bodekai, he set a gallow to kill Bodekai, but the gallow was used to kill him. Back to center. When the enemies of Daniel rose up against him and said the lion's den, that anybody that prays against any God should be thrown into the lion's den. Who died in the lion's den? They and their entire family. Back to center. When Herod rose against the church in Acts chapter 12 to kill them, he killed James. He took Peter to kill. But in the end, when the church began to pray, when he beat James, the church was still doing Lord thy neighbor. They were thinking that this one is just an enemy that is mis that has misunderstanding with them. They didn't know that this one is an adversary, an end time demonic human agent that is sent to stop the church progress. They didn't know until when James was beheaded. They were like, Jesus, this is not a play. When they picked Peter to be beheaded the next day, the Bible said, throughout the night, the church began to pray. The church began to call on the God of back to sender. The church began to pray. And the angel of the Lord came, delivered Peter. And that same day, he killed Herod. The death that Herod wished for the church, he died their death back to sender. That God of back to sender will arise on your behalf today. They want to sack you from their job, you will watch all of them eliminated from their jobs. In the mighty name of Jesus, they want you to be buried this year, you will attend their funeral services this year. They want you to fail, you will watch them fail while you succeed. In the mighty name of Jesus, they want to bring you down, you will be at the top looking down on them, looking down to them. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me, the God of back to sender will show up in your life and scatter those who want to scatter you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you set to pray this morning? Are you set to pray? Now, before we go into this prayers, I want to encourage you. If this is your first time in this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad to do it. This is a channel of prayer. We pray warfare prayer. No nonsense prayer. We are angry with the devil. We are always pursuing him out of our lives. We are attack wickedness with the power of God's judgment. So we don't take nonsense with the enemy. We are wise as serpents, even though physically we are gentle as those. So I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button if you want to come under this firehouse. I, as you subscribe today, I see God doing great things in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you for subscribing in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, today our back to center prayers is going to be focusing on marriages. Marriages. Every hour of the devil after your marriage goes back to the center. Now, in case you're watching this video and you are not married or you are not in any relationship, you can still pray it. Pray it over your life. Pray it over your life. 
It could be marriage you are related to, you can relate it to your business, you can relate it to your health, you can relate it to any area of your life. Even though our primary focus today is on marriage, but you can still relate it to any other area of your life. Back to sender is back to sender. It works anytime, any day, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you set to pray? Say, Father, I thank you for you are the God that preserves my marriage. In the mighty name of God, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Zibaranda Kuska. Father, I thank you for you are the God that preserves my marriage. You preserve my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ligo Saganda Matayata. Even though you are not praying for your own, even if your own is not married, you can see my business, my health, my family. Father, I thank you for you are the God that preserves my marriage. You preserve my marriage. In the mighty name of God. Father, I thank you for you are the God that preserves my marriage. In the mighty name of just my Lord and my God, I give you praise. I thank you for you are the God that preserves my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, my Father. I hand over my marriage to you today in the mighty name of God. Begin to hand over your marriage to the Lord. Begin to hand over your marriage to the Lord. Oh God, my Father, my Father, my Fighter, I hand over my marriage to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I hand over my marriage to you today. Masiko Pranate, lege, 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 lege. Oh God, my Father. I hand over my marriage to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, I hand over my marriage to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I hand over my marriage to you today. Oh God, my Father, I hand over my marriage to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Sikini, Jehovah Rofika, Jehovah Shama, I hand over my marriage to you today. I hand over my marriage to you today. Oh God, my Father, I hand over my marriage. I hand over my marriage. I hand over my marriage to you today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. My Father, my Father, <laughs> deliver my marriage from marriage destroyers in the mighty name of Jesus. There are agents of destruction in marriage. They could come from your, your in-laws. They could be your friends. They could be outside enemies like strange women. They are marriage destroyers. Marriage destroyers. It could be a spirit of manipulation that is manipulating you to scatter your marriage. You are just fighting your husband all the time for little things. You are troubling him until he says, I want a divorce. Every marriage destroyer in your life, you shall be delivered today in the name of Jesus. I used to pray, pray that part with me. My father, my fighter, <laughs> my father, my deliverer, deliver my marriage from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray prayer. My father, my fighter, my father, my deliverer, deliver my marriage, O Lord, from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, Jehovah, man of war, deliver my marriage, O Lord, from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver my marriage, deliver my marriage, O Lord, deliver my marriage, O Lord, from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, every agent of marital destruction, deliver my marriage from it, Lord, deliver my marriage, O Lord, from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Deliverer, deliver my marriage, O Lord, from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah Rapha Jehovah Sikini, deliver my marriage, O Lord, from marriage destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I return to the sender. Every arrow of disunity in my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of disunity in my marriage, I return back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer this morning. Oh God, I return back to the sender. Every arrow of disunity in my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rika Basako Kako, Zekele Metenoka, Leke Dege Dege De, I return back. 
to the sender every arrow of disunity in my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, Reb Nai, Reb Nai, Reb Nai, Zizimota, Mekubahade, Regenomzi Barata. I return back to the sender every arrow of disunity targeted at my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever is causing discord, whatever is causing disunity in my marriage, I return those evil arrows of disunity back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I curse every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice after that prayer. I curse every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to curse it. <laughs> every spirit that is fighting the peace. Of my marriage, I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage, I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage, I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage, I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit fighting the peace, fighting the peace, fighting the peace of my marriage. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage, I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage, I curse you now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Every spirit fighting the peace of my marriage, I curse you to the root in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, my Father, strike down every evil, strange woman troubling my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, strike down every evil, strange woman troubling my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, strike down that evil, unrepentant, strange woman. Fighting the peace of my marriage. Strike them down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Strike them down. Every evil. Unrepentant. Strange woman. Fighting the peace of my marriage. Fighting the peace of my marriage. Strike them down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil. Unrepentant. Strange woman. Fighting the peace of my marriage. Strike them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil, unrepentant, strange woman fighting the peace of my marriage. Strike them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Riko Tarabase Korobosika. Every evil, unrepentant, strange woman fighting the peace of my marriage. Strike them down now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I reject every spirit of divorce in my marriage. Every spirit of divorce, every evil pattern of divorce, I reject it. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to reject. I reject every spirit of divorce. Every spirit of divorce in my marriage, I reject it. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of divorce in my marriage, I reject it in the name of Jesus. 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 Regada basikiri andalama. Rebo soko toro bosa. Matende rebo sika. Every evil arrow of divorce in my marriage, I return it back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reject that spirit. I reject that spirit. Whatever is causing my husband to seek divorce, I reject that spirit. Whatever is causing divorce in my family or a threat of divorce or any sign of divorce, I reject that spirit. In my marriage, you spirit of divorce, get out of my marriage right now. You spirit of divorce, I cast you out of my marriage now. In the mighty name of God, you spirit of divorce, pack your load. Get out of my marriage now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, deliver my spouse. Your husband, your wife. Deliver my spouse 
from every wicked, strange woman or man. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver my husband, O Lord. From every wicked, strange woman or man, diabolic, strange woman or man, deliver my spouse. In the mighty name of Jesus, deliver him, O Lord. Deliver him, O Lord. Deliver him, O Lord. From every wicked, strange woman. In the name of Jesus. Regadabas Korobosika. Elenomosakata. Deliver Lord. Deliver them Lord. Deliver them Lord. Maleke Rebosa. Deliver my husband Lord from every wicked, evil, diabolic, strange woman. Let their enchantment and their charms backfire on their head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I begin to speak peace to your marriage. I speak peace into my marriage. I speak peace into my home. I speak peace into my marriage. The storm is over. The storm is over. That atmosphere of tension is over. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak peace. I speak peace to my marriage. I speak peace to my marriage. I speak peace to my marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. Blessed be your holy name. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. Thank you, Lord, for you have heard us, you have understood us, and you have answered us. Blessed be your holy name, for in Jesus' name we have given thanks. Amen. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you to keep watching this prayer series. Subscribe to the Hit the Subscribe button, Hit the Bell notification button. And you'll be glad to it. Don't miss any of this back to send that uh, prayer, prayer, prayer series. Praise the Lord. Be in it, and the God of heaven will return continuously in your life to the sender. Every evil arrows sent against you. You are blessed, you are delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you again tomorrow for the next another episode. Until then, my name is Remember Pastor Ekechi Uchinebu, your host at Everyday Prayer Guy Television. Remain blessed, stay safe. God bless you. Hallelujah. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ike and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be continuing our series on Back to Sender Prayers using Psalm 35. Back to Sender Prayers using Psalm 35. Praise the Lord. And it has been a powerful series that we have been following since the beginning of this uh, uh, week. This is, I think, this should be the, the fourth the fourth day of the series. And I encourage you to join these prayers. Praise the Lord. I encourage you to pray these prayers with all your heart because these are prayers that will protect you from the evil attacks of the enemy. Praise the Lord. These are prayers that will protect you from what the evil attacks of the enemy. Satan is the wicked one. Not just the evil one, but what? The wicked one. The wicked one in the sense that Satan will stop at nothing until you are destroyed. The Bible said his mission is to steal from you, to kill from you, and to end up, to kill you, and to end up destroying your life, your legacy. And Satan walks through human vessels. Human vessels. I'm talking, I'm talking about embodiments of wickedness. People that their mission in life is to be an instrument in the hand of Satan. I'm talking about the pharaohs of life, the hermans of life, the heralds of life, people who are adversaries to your destiny, people who they cannot bear to see you rise. They want you to be down always. That is the people we are praying these prayers against. Praise the Lord. You don't negotiate with the devil. You resist the devil. The reason why Satan has been pushing your life and making a mess out of your life is because you are too gentle in the realm of the spirit. The Bible said, be wise as a serpent. Listen to me. The serpent is the scariest animal in the jungle. Not even the lion. Not even the lion. Everybody is afraid of the serpent. The serpent. And the serpent is the only animal that his growth does not stop. The growth of the serpent does not stop. There is no limit to the growth of a serpent. A serpent keeps growing till death. 
That is to let you know that the, 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 there is no end. There is no end to the danger of a serpent. There is no end to the danger of a serpent. And the bigger a serpent, the bigger its prey. A small snake can be eating things like, can be eating, feeding on things like rats and frogs. But when the snake gets to a point, it begins to feed on four-legged animals. And it gets bigger, it begins to feed on even human beings and more. Praise the Lord. So what am I trying to say? What am I trying to tell you here? God said, Jesus said, in the realm of the spirit, be as deadly as a serpent. But in the physical, be as gentle as those. In other words, physically speaking, be at peace with people. Don't be a troublemaker. Don't be somebody who will cause chaos. Be a peaceful person in the physical. Respect people. Respect everyone in the physical. But in the spiritual, return their evil back to death. In the spiritual, go on your knees and say, let the wickedness of the wicked return back to their head. You know, God told Abraham, he said, I will bless them that bless you. And they that curse you, I will curse them. Be in the realm of spirit, begin to return their curses back to the sender. Somebody in your workplace that is looking for help for you, for you to be sacked, you go on your knees and return their evil back to them. Before you know it, they will expose themselves and they themselves will be sacked instead of you. These prayers will work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray them with all your heart. Psalm 35 was written for adversaries. He said, plead my cause with them that stand with me. He says, fight against them that fight against me. He said, they that dig a pit for me, they will fall into it. The destruction they set for me, they will fall into it. He said, by the end of the Lord, will pursue after them. He will, he will pursue after them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. Anyone planning your downfall will fall for your sake this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe you are set to pray these prayers. We are here to pray. No two more talk. We are here to pray. Now, today we are going to be praying back to send that prayers it targeted to your business, your career, the works of your hands. The things you do to make money. Everyone that say you will not eat this year, that person will die of starvation. Anyone that say you will labor in vain this year, that person will never see harvest this year. Anyone that is setting a trap for you in your place of work so that you'll be frustrated out of that place, that person will be frustrated out of that place. Anybody that is discriminating you because of your race, they don't like you because of your race. They are trying to remove you to put their person. God will remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is trying to frustrate your finances, poverty will be their, their best companion this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is not happy with your progress, they will go down in shame and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to be praying back to send up prayers, targeting on your business, your career, the works of your hand, your finances. Your finances. Listen to me. When you are blessed financially, most of your problems are solved. Praise the Lord. Most of your problems are solved. When you are blessed financially, sir, your prayer point will, will be greatly reduced. So God is going to protect your finances and attack those who want to attack your finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, before we go into the prayers, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Subscribe now. If this is your first time in this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad again. In this channel, we pray every day, and we pray fire for fire prayers. So I want you to be part of this family. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, give us a like, and you will not miss our daily prayers. The Lord bless you as you subscribe today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, lift up your voice and pray with me. Say, Father, I thank you for you are the God that given me power to create wealth. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that given me power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for you are the God that given me power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Lord, I thank you. Jehovah, I thank you for you are the God that given me power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I thank you. I give you praise. I bless your name. For you are the God that given me power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, I thank you. Mighty in battle, I bless your name. For you are the God that given me power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. El Shaddai, Elohim, I thank you. For you are the God that given me power Power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancient of days, I thank you. Father, I give you praise. For you are the God that given me power to create wealth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I hand over my business 
my career and my finances to you now in the mighty name of God. Begin to hand over your business this year, your career, the works of your hand, whatever you do for a living, begin to hand it over to the Lord. Hand over your money to the Lord, your finances, Lord. I hand it over to you. I hand it over to you. Anything that is handed over to you, the devil cannot corrupt. I hand over my business, my career, my finances over to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hand it over. My business, I hand it over. My career, I hand it over. My money, I hand it over. I hand over my business to you. I hand over my careers to you. I hand over. I hand over my business to you. I hand over my career to you. I hand it over to you. I hand it over to you. I hand over my business, my career to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hand it over. I hand it over. I hand it over. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I release the fire of God to destroy Every witchcraft working against me at my workplace, in the mighty name of Jesus, every witchcraft conspiracy against you, like the one that Daniel experienced in Daniel chapter 6, I release the fire of God to destroy their witchcraft and return it back to them. In the mighty name of God, begin to pray that prayer. I return to sender every witchcraft perpetrated against me in my workplace, in the mighty name of Jesus, any witchcraft, every witchcraft, Targeted against me in my workplace, I return it back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. In your place of work, every witchcraft targeted against you, return it back to the sender. Return it back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Every meeting targeted against you is a backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Return to the sender. Every witchcraft targeted against you in your place of work in the mighty name of Jesus. Return to the sender. Every witchcraft targeted against you in your place of work, in the mighty name of Jesus, return, return to the sender. Every witchcraft targeted against you in your place of work, in the mighty name of Jesus, return to the sender. Every witchcraft targeted against you in your place of work, in the mighty name of Jesus, return to the sender. Every witchcraft targeted against you in your place of work, return to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I break the hand of every power fighting my promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus, promotion at the place of work, promotion in your businesses, promotion in your, your finances. Every power from the pit of hell fighting your promotion. Begin to break that hand right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break the hand of every power fighting my promotion. Promotion in my business. Promotion in my career. Promotion in my finances. Every hand of the enemy fighting against my promotion. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Everyone, every power fighting my promotion. I break your hand. 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 The hand of every power from the pit of hell fighting my promotion. I break that hand now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, open the floodgates of financial opportunities over my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray a prayer. Oh God, my Father, open the floodgates of financial opportunities to me this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray a prayer. Oh God, my Father, open the floodgates of financial opportunities in my life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my Lord, open the floodgates of financial opportunities for me this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not lack opportunities to prosper. 
O Lord, open the floodgate of financial opportunities to me this year. Open, Lord, the floodgate of financial opportunities for me this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Praise God, Lord, your heart. My Father, my Lord, give me the right ideas for financial independence this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you, I have the mind of Christ. Give me the right ideas for financial independence this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, put the right ideas in my head. The right ideas. The right ideas for financial freedom this year. Oh God, give me the right ideas. The right ideas. The right idea that I will implement in my life for financial freedom. You gave Jacob an idea that made him rich and became free from labor. You gave Isaac an idea that made him rich and became free from famine. Oh God, you gave Joseph an idea to handle the wealth of Egypt to survive the famine. Oh God, give me the right idea. The right idea to become financially free this year. Financially dependent this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, give me the right idea. Pray that prayer for yourself. Put your hand on your head and say, Lord, give me the right idea for financial independence this year. For financial freedom this year. For financial freedom this year. Give me the right idea, O oh Lord. Give me the right idea, O oh Lord, for financial freedom this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I return to the sender. Every arrow of poverty targeted at me this year, I return it back to the sender. I begin to return to the sender right now. I return to the sender. Every arrow of poverty, go back to the sender. Go back to where you came from. In the mighty name of Jesus, I return to the sender. Every arrow of poverty, go back to where you come from. You came from. In the name of Jesus, I return to the sender. Every arrow of poverty, go back to where you came from. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of poverty. Poverty of the mind. I return you back to the sender. 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 In the name of Jesus, every arrow of poverty targeted against me. I return you arrow of poverty back to the sender. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of poverty, I return you back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I return to the sender. Every arrow of laziness and procrastination, I return you back to the sender. Every arrow of laziness, go back to the sender. Any arrow of procrastination, go back to the sender. Go back to where you came from. In the mighty name of Jesus. This year, I shall not be lazy. This year, I shall not procrastinate. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of laziness, every arrow of procrastination, I return you back to the sender. I return you back to the sender. I return you back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of laziness, every arrow of procrastination, I return you back to the sender. I return you back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer this morning. Every arrow of laziness, every arrow of procrastination, I return you back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I decree that my doors of financial blessings are open this year. In the mighty name of God, my doors of financial blessings are open. You need to make that declaration right now. My doors of blessings, my doors of financial open doors, my doors of financial opportunities, my doors of financial prosperity, they are opened up to me this year and I shall walk into it majestically. Begin to make that declaration. I declare and declare, my doors of blessings are open. My doors of prosperity are open. In the mighty name of God, I shall walk into my prosperity this year. I shall walk into my favor this year. I shall walk into my wealth this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voice to heaven and begin to appreciate the Lord for answered prayers. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we bless your name. Thank you, Father, for you have heard us, you have understood us, and you have answered us. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are favored. God has heard you this morning. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. I encourage you, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, and you'll be glad you did. As you subscribe today, I see God bless you richly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also join us tomorrow for another powerful episode of this prayer. You will be blessed. Don't miss any of the series. Go to our playlist. Warfare prayer and deliverance prayers. You see all the series. In case you have missed some, pray there. And God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Remember Pastor Eke Chibuchinidum. Your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hey everyone, my name is Pastor Ekechukutinidou, I am your host at Everyday.
Pepe Prayer Television. You're welcome to today's Back to Sender Prayers using Psalm 35. Back to Sender Prayers using Psalm 35. We are on a 10-day series and today is our day 5. And this prayer is inspired from the book of Psalm 35. Praise the Lord. It's a prayer to return the evil arrows of the wicked and the devil back to the sender. It is a prayer that you pray and the evil of those that wish you bad will rest upon their head. The Bible said, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. And how can the wickedness of the wicked come to an end when they begin to reap the fruits of their wickedness? When they begin to what? To reap the fruits of their wickedness. Praise the Lord. In this prayer series, we are returning evil arrows back to the center. Now listen to me. As a prophet and a teacher, I tell you today, you will not die for your enemy. Your children will not die for the wicked. You will not be a scapegoat because as they are planning against you, your God is planning against them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. The lion in you, the lion in you will roar at the devil and the devil will begin to flee from you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 12, when God visited Abraham, he told, he told Abraham among others, he said, I will bless them that bless you. And anyone that causes you, I will curse. That is, the, is part of the Abrahamic package. And Galatians tells us that we are seeds of Abraham. In other words, anyone that is blessing us, blessings will return back to the sender. Anyone that is cursing us, curses will return back to the sender. If you bless us, our God will bless you. If you curse us, our God will rain curses on you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. Anyone that is planning to bring you down, that person will go down for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you are listening to me right now, anyone in your family, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, in your life, in your health, that is trying to bring you down, my God will bring them down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, today's back to sender prayers is focusing on our health. And our health, on our health. The Bible said, if you serve the Lord thy God, I will take sickness away from you. Exodus 23, 25. He said, I will take sickness away from you. Listen to me. There is no point being successful and not healthy. He said, I wish above what he taught John to you, that you prosper, be in health, and prosper in your spirit. God wants us to prosper physically. He wants us to prosper in our health. He wants us to prosper spiritually. We're going to be praying back to send our prayers on our health. Now listen to me. Sickness will not kill you in your lifetime. In the mighty name of God, whatever they call the name of that sickness in your body, it is returning back to the sender now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if it is an arrow from the enemy, now you will hear news that that sickness in your body has returned seven times to the life of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. If it is from the pit of hell, that sickness is returning back to the pit of hell. In the mighty name of Jesus. Acts chapter 10 verse 38, it tells us that the Lord anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power and he went about doing good, such as healing those that were oppressed of the devil. Sicknesses are generally from the pit of hell, from the devil. But some of them are machinated, are, are engineered by demonic agents, witchcraft agents. Somebody we were praying for, they sent her the spirit of madness and she was having momentary madness, but the Lord had delivered her. Praise the Lord. Another person was sent stroke. Something just hit her on the back and she turned nobody. Before you know it, she had partial stroke, but the Lord healed her. Sickness and disease can be arrows from the pit of hell, arrows from the spirit world. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you see somebody is dying physically. That person is dying. And when they take that person to the hospital, the doctors will do all the x-rays, all the scans, all the whatever to check all the diagnosis and they will not find anything. Someone we, I prayed for on our live stream and the person said, something inside me is always eating. It's a brother from South Africa. He says, something inside of me is always eating me up and I'm just getting slim and slim and slim. And, I, and they have checked. They have done all manner of scan. They, they saw nothing. Yet, the brother knows that something is just eating him up. Praise the Lord. And we pray. And that demon inside his body, that demonic parasite died on the spot. And he called on our live stream to share his testimonies. Now listen to me. I don't care what the doctor says is wrong with you. Whether it's cancer, whether it's blood disease, whatever, high blood pressure, low blood pressure. They are returning back to the sender now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Any kind of ailment in your body, it may even be the one you have not discovered yet. Maybe in the next few months, in the next few years, you'll discover it. But before that time, the Lord will remove it now, now, and return it back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I do set to pray these prayers this morning. Now, quickly, before we go into the prayers, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. This is a channel for you. You want to be on fire for God? Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. And you'll be glad. You. In this channel, we pray powerful, demon-resistant prayers on a daily basis. If you want to come under the cover of these powerful prayers, I encourage you to be a subscriber today. And as you subscribe, my God will bless you around. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we set to pray this morning? Now lift up your voice and pray. Say, Father, Father, I thank you for you are the God that healed me of all my diseases. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that healed me from all my diseases. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that healed me of all my diseases. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rodo Shanda Mate Koseri Daba Brenda Zuzuma Tayada Lekura Baba. Oh God, I thank you for you are the God that He let me. You heal me of all my diseases. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my Fighter, my Father, my God. I thank you for you are the God that He let me of all my diseases. In the mighty name. Of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Next prayer I decree as a child of grace today that continuous sickness is not my portion. In the mighty name of God, make that bold declaration as a child of grace this morning. I decree that from today, continuous sickness is not my portion. Sick today, sick tomorrow, sick this month, sick next month. In the name of Jesus, from today, I decree and I declare. That continuous sickness is not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, continuous sickness. Every sickness of long continuance, you are not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that from today, continuous sickness is not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, I declare that from today, continuous sickness, continuous ailment, Continuous disease is not my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I reject every satanic symptoms of sickness and disease in my body right now. Begin to reject it. It's not your own. I reject every satanic symptoms of sicknesses and diseases in my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reject it. I reject it. Every satanic symptoms of sickness and disease in my body right now. I reject it. Every satanic symptoms of sickness and disease in my body. I reject it. Every satanic symptoms of sickness and disease in my body. I reject it. Every satanic symptoms of sickness and disease in my body. I reject you now. I reject you now. I reject you now in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject every satanic symptoms of sickness and disease in my body in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I return to the sender every satanic arrow of sickness and disease targeted against me. I return it back to the sender. I return it back to the camp of the enemy. I return it back to the pit of hell. I return to sender. Every arrow of cancer, I return to sender. Every arrow of diabetes, I return to the sender. Every arrow of high blood pressure, low blood pressure, low sugar, high sugar, I return back to the sender. Every arrow of heart disease, I return back to the sender. Every arrow of waist pain, body pain, rheumatism, arthritis, I return back to the sender. Every arrow of depression, I return back to the sender. Every 
arrow of unknown sickness and disease, I return back to the sender. Every arrow of stroke, I return back to the sender. Every arrow of sickness and disease targeted against me, I return it back to the camp of the enemy. I return it back to the wicked. Every arrow of terminal disease, I return it back to the sender. Back to the sender. Arrow of HIV, back to the sender. Arrow of AIDS, back to the sender. Arrow of every coin of disease and uh, sickness and disease, I return you back to the sender. Blood disease, back to the sender. Bone and marrow disease, back to the sender. Skin disease, brain disease, psychological disease, whatever kind of sickness and disease. Every arrow of the enemy, I return you back to the sender now. Back to the sender now. Back to the sender now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow of disease, I return you back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I command my immune system to receive supernatural strength to conquer diseases in the name of God. Receive, begin to pray over your immune system right now. Your immune system that fights sickness and disease. I command my immune system receive supernatural strength to conquer sickness and disease in the mighty name of God. From today, you will never be deficient anymore. Receive the strength of God. Receive supernatural strength. Receive supernatural strength to conquer sickness and disease. Receive supernatural strength. You immune system of mind. Receive supernatural strength. Receive supernatural strength. Conquer diseases from today. Conquer sicknesses from today. Conquer symptoms from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Immune system of mind. Receive supernatural strength to conquer diseases. To conquer symptoms. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today, no virus will survive in my body. From today, no airborne disease will survive in my body. From today, no blood disease will survive in my body. From today, no skin disease will survive in my body. From today, no terminal disease will survive in my body. From today, no form of sickness and disease will survive in this body. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Pray this prayer. I decree and I declare that no sickness will take my life in this earth. In the mighty name of God, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. No sickness will take my life in this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I make that declaration right now. In my good old age, I will sleep peacefully and go to the other side. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not die of sickness. I will not die of accident. I will not die of disease. In the name of Jesus, no sickness, no disease will take my life this year. Uh, in this world, in the mighty name of Jesus, no sickness, no disease. It doesn't care what is happening in the world. It doesn't care the pandemic in this world. I don't care whether pandemic increases to power one million. No sickness will take my life in this world. Whether it is viral, whether it is bacteria, whether it is airborne, whether it is blood disease, bone disease, terminal, no sickness will take my life in this world. I will live a good old age and I will sleep and get to the to heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness will take my life. No disease will take my life. I am unkillable by sicknesses and disease. I am indestructible by sickness and disease. No sickness will take my life. No disease will take my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Any witch or wizard projecting sickness in my life fall and die of that sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Any witch or wizard projecting sickness in my life, projecting high blood pressure, stroke, blood disease, any witch or wizard projecting sickness in my life, fall and die of that same sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Projecting stroke in my life, die of stroke. You are projecting terminal disease in my life, that terminal disease will destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Any witch, any wizard, Projecting sickness and disease in my life. Fall and die of that sickness and disease. In the mighty name of God. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Rego dobo soko toro Any witch or wizard. Projecting sickness and disease in my life. Fall and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any witch or wizard. Projecting sickness and disease in my life. Fall and die of that sickness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any witch or wizard. Projecting sickness and disease in my life. 
fall and die of that sickness and disease. In the mighty name of Jesus, every witch or wizard protecting sickness and disease in my life, fall and die of that sickness and disease. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, begin to declare, I receive divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm strong physically. I receive divine health physically. I receive divine health spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive divine health. My blood is declared cleansed. My cells are active. My immune system is supernaturally empowered. My bones are strong. The pain is gone. I am fit for the work of the ministry. I decree, I receive divine health. I receive divine health. I walk in divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus, the older I get, the stronger I become. The older I get, the fresher I become. The older I get, the more alive I become. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible said that Moses was 120 years. His strength was not abated. His eyesight was still intact. Oh God, I walk in divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus, I walk in divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus, the strong, the older I get, the stronger I become. The fresher I become. The more lively I become. The healthier I become. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to appreciate the Lord for your health. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. Thank you, Jesus. It is done and dusted. In Jesus' great name. Amen. Hallelujah. Your prayers are answered. Praise the Lord. Sickness has no power over you this year. You are favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If you are yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button and you will be glad you did. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. You'll be glad you did. And also, uh, uh, join the series. Don't miss the prayer series. Join us again tomorrow for another Power Pack episode. Either tomorrow or Monday for another Power Pack episode. And you'll be blessed. For those of you who have not followed this series from the beginning, visit our playlist, Deliverance Prayers, Warfare Prayers. You will see the prayers. Back to Sender Prayers within Psalm 35. It will help you. It will protect you. It will defend you. And it will bless you. We'll continue in the next episode. My name is Remain Pastor Eke Chukutinidu, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed, stay safe. In Jesus' great name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Eke Chukutinidu, and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Hallelujah. Today, we are going to be continuing our series, Day 6 of Back to sender prayers using Psalm 35. Back to sender prayers using Psalm 35. For those of you who have been following our series, I believe you have been blessed. A lot of your testimonies come to me through the, the mail, through the phone, through my, my WhatsApp. And, and I'm so encouraged, even though I don't get to reply most of them. I'm so sorry because of the load of work. But I'm so happy that God is really doing great things in your life through these powerful prayers. Hallelujah. Back to send that prayers is a warfare prayer. It's an offensive prayer. It's a prayer that returns the wickedness of the wicked back to them. Those human agents that Satan are using to undo believers, that is the, this is the prayer that we use to resent, to resist the devil, to resist the pit of hell. And as you follow this series, God will keep fighting for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is when we call for vengeance that God avenges. Luke 18, 1, the, the widow said, avenge me of my adversaries. Okay. It is the advent, if it, it is the vengeance we cry for that we see. It is what? It is the vengeance that we cry for that we see. If you want to see the wickedness of the wicked return back to them, then you must react in prayers. You must roll back at them. You must return their evil arrows to them. You must send it back to the center. If you wait, you waste. If you are waiting, eh, God will help me. God will do it. When you wait, you waste. If you want to see things work, you must work it. If you want to see the devil be resisted, you must resist the devil. If you want to see the kingdom of hell fall, you must fall it. If you want to see the wickedness suffer from their wickedness, you must return their arrows back to them to, through prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, God told Abraham, He said, Whoever they that bless you, I will bless them. And see, if anyone curses you, I will curse them. In other words, anything they send to you, I will return it back to them in hundredfold. If they send you blessings, blessings will overwhelm them. 
If they send you courses, courses will be their harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Today we are focusing on witchcraft. Witches. Witches that are working against you. Now, if you have watched our witchcraft series that we did in January, you find out that there are two types of witches. There are people who are practicing witches. They are diabolic. They are witchcraft. They, are, they fly in the night spiritually. They do astral projection. They are initiated witches. And that, 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 that one we call it direct witchcraft. They are practicing it. It's, a, it's an art. To them, it's an art. But we have indirect witchcraft. We have indirect. That's the act. The act, A-C-T, of witchcraft is indirect. Now, the A-R-T of witchcraft is direct. When somebody is initiated into the witch coven, that is a direct witchcraft. He practices sorcery, necromancy, and all manner, all manner of things. But when we talk about indirect witchcraft, we're talking about the act of bewitching someone. That one is even more deadly than the direct witchcraft. Praise the Lord. There are many people who are under the, the spirit of witchcraft. They, 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 they perform the act, the ACT of witchcraft. That is, when you see somebody who doesn't want the other person to succeed, that is the spirit of witchcraft. When you see jealousy and envy, wickedness, in the spirit of witchcraft. When you see somebody who wants sitting on other people's progress and he doesn't want them to prosper. Not that the person is doing anything diabolic, but not that the person is, that is the spirit of witchcraft controlling that person. It is the spirit of witchcraft that made the brothers of Joseph sell Joseph to slavery. Praise the Lord. It is the spirit of witchcraft that made Laban keep cheating and manipulating the life of Jacob in his heart. That is the spirit of witchcraft. The spirit of witchcraft is behind wickedness, is behind jealousy, and is behind envy. It is the spirit of witchcraft that make him want to destroy Mordecai alongside the Jews. Now listen to me. Anyone that is under the spirit of witchcraft working against your life, every of their plans will return back to the sender in the mighty name of the Now listen to me. Every of their plans that they have cooked against you, it will return back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not survive in the mighty name of Jesus. They plan to throw you into the lion's den. They themselves will be buried in that lion's den in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I do set to pray these prayers this morning. Now, quickly before we go into the prayers, I want to encourage you. Subscribe quickly to this channel because this is a channel for you. This is a channel that will change your story forever. This is a channel that will change the course of your life. This is a channel that will protect you and help you and, and, and increase your warfare spirit. Many of our subscribers, they share testimonies with me. They say, Pastor, I used to be molested in the dream. I used to be attacked by witches. But from now, from when I started praying your prayers, my spiritual violence came up. I became a spiritual lion. Don't know, I no longer, I'm no, I was no longer afraid of the devil. When I knew her, and then the wrong. Why? Because this is a is a is a is a praying is a praying warfare channel. It's a channel of spiritual soldiers. When you begin to pray with us, the spirit of fear disappears from your life. As you subscribe today, I see God bless you from our daily videos in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's get to today's prayers. Back to send that prayers using Psalm 35. Now lift up your voice and say, Father. I thank you for you are the God that undoes wickedness in my life. Lift your voice and pray prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that undoes wickedness. You undo it. You, you undo it. Control Z. You are the God that undo wickedness in my life. In the mighty name of the Father, I thank you. You are the God. You are the God that undo wickedness. You undo it. You undo it. You undo it. Wickedness in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I give you praise. Jehovah, I thank you. Father, I bless your name for you are the God. You are the God that undo wickedness in my life. You undo it. You undo wickedness in my life. Father, I give you praise. Jehovah, I thank you. Thank you, Father, for you are the God that undo wickedness in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, pray this next prayer. Every works of witches against my life, I return it back to the sender now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift the voice and pray prayer. Every works of witches, whether direct or indirect witchcraft, against my life, I return their works back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. I return their evil works back to death in the mighty name of Jesus. Every work of witches, witches and wizards against my life. I return, say it with boldness, I return their evil works back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, every works of witches against my life, I return their evil works 
back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ziko baraka de sokoto li baba. Zizi etona yagata. Le kura baba. Le kura rara baba. Every walk of witches against my life, I return their walks back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every walks of witches against my life, I return their walks back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every walks of witches against my life, I return their evil walks back to them in the mighty name. Of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Next prayer, next prayer, next prayer. Every witchcraft plots against me by witches and wizards. I return their witchcraft plot back to them. Let their witchcraft plot backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it backfire after the order of Daniel chapter six, when they plotted to throw Daniel into the lion's den, but it backfired on their head. Oh God, let every witchcraft plot against me in my family, against me in my marriage, against me in my workplace, let it return back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft plot. Every witchcraft plot against my life, I return it back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus. Every witchcraft plot against me, every witchcraft plot against me, I return it back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic witchcraft plot against my life, I return you back to the center. I return you back to the center. I return you back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Every witchcraft arrow shot against my life. I return you back to the center seven times. In the mighty name of Jesus. They shoot one arrow, they receive seven arrows back. In the mighty name of the every witchcraft arrow. Arrow of poverty, arrow of depression, arrow of sickness and disease, arrow of failure, arrow of disappointment, arrow of delay. Every witchcraft arrow shot against my life. Arrow of devotion. I return those arrows back to you seven times. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, lift up your voice and pray. Every witchcraft arrow shot against me by witches and wizards. I return those arrows back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, every witchcraft arrows shot in my direction. I return those arrows back to the sender. Zemenete, Zemenete. Zemenete. Every witchcraft arrow from the pit of hell, from witches and wizards in my workplace, from witches and wizards in my family, shot against my life. I return your arrows back to you seven times in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Any witch anywhere after my life fall and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Any witch, after my life, any wizard, after my life, wherever you are, fall and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer now. Fall and die. Fall and die. Fall and die. Any witch, any wizard, anywhere, after my life, fall and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, say Koraba si karaba sete, Ronomoto si tenemasa. Every witch, every wizard, after my life, I command you in the name of Jesus, fall and be dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masi kindarama sandaraba, regodo shagala matilo. Every witch, every wizard, after my life, fall and die. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rigada base korobo sanda. Any witch, any wizard, wherever you are, wherever you are, projecting against my life, fall and die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Every spell, charm, and enchantment used against me by fire right now. By fire, by fire, by fire, by fire. Every spell from witchcraft, every spell, every diabolic charm, every enchantment, every incantation used against me. By fire, by fire. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spell used against me, my marriage, used against me, my business, used against me, my career, used against my spiritual life, used against me, my health. Every spell, every charm, every enchantment, but fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire. He can never support or go sada. Reget de go si ke no go shaga. Rimoto zozo marabada. Every spell, every enchantment, every divination used against me. But fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire. Is a gene make a tene gene. Is a name a get a tene gene. Every spell, every charm, every enchantment, every divination used against me. But fire by fire. But fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire, but fire by fire. Rege de ge de ge de ge de. Rebo no no sokoto. Rego no no ziyabata. Rega da bashanda. Every spell, every enchantment, every divination used against me. But fire by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Every witchcraft attack in the dream, but fire now in the mighty name of every witch attacking me in the dream from today. Your attack will backfire on your head in the mighty name of just you sleep. In your house, you project your spirit to come and attack me. You will never return back to that body in the mighty name of just any witch, any wizard that leaves her body or his body in the house and come to attack me in the spirit realm. They will never return back to that body. In the mighty name of God, lift up your voice and pray a prayer. Any witch that leaves the body to fly to oppress me in the night, they will never return to that body. In the mighty name of Jesus, any witch, any wizard. Any witch, any wizard that leaves their body to come and attack me in the night, they will never return back to that body. In the mighty name of Jesus, are you praying a prayer? That witch that is pressing me at night, tearing my body at night, sucking my blood at night, you will never return back to your body. The next time you try it, you will, be, you will go from there. In the mighty name of God, the next time you project your spirit against me, you will go from there. You will go to hell from there. In the mighty name of Jesus, the next time you fly spiritually to my compound, to my house, to oppress me, you will go to hell straight from there. You will not return back to the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, you turn to a cat, you turn to a dog, you turn to any animal or any evil bird to come and attack me, you are stuck in that shape forever and you go to hell from there. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Next prayer. I surround my fire, my family with the fire of the Holy Ghost, with the uncall, unquenchable fire of the Holy Ghost, with the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost. I cover my environment. I cover my house inside and outside with the bony flames of fire, with chariots of fire, angels of flames of fire. I surround my environment. No witchcraft attack. No evil attack. Even in my workplace, I surround myself with the fire of God. Too hot for the devil to handle. Too hot for the devil to handle. I surround myself with the fire of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voice to heaven and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for it is done. Blessed be your holy name. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You alone are God. You alone are God forever. Thank you, Father, for it is done. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Listen to me. <laughs> no witch can cross you when you pray this type of prayers. You know, you see, you see, no evil can dare you. Because they know that when they try it, it will backfire. You, evil, evil will be avoiding you. Say that as some believer that Satan avoid. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I encourage you. To subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button and you'll be glad you did as you subscribe today i see god fight your battles constantly in the mighty name of jesus christ amen i'll see you again in the next episode until then my name is still pastor i could your host at everyday prayer guide television remain blessed stay safe in jesus name amen god bless you good day everyone my name is Pastor Ike and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer and Television. Today we shall continue our next series, Wolf and Back to Sender Prayers, using Psalm 35. 
back to send up prayers using Psalm 35. And today's our day seven, day seven of it, back to send up prayers using Psalm 35. You see, you are going to be blessed by these prayers because these prayers will help you fortify yourself. Praise the Lord. We live in a world of wickedness where Satan oppresses the children of God one way or another. You have heard the word that good people don't live long. It's even in the Bible. Why is it that people that are good don't live long? It's because the world we live in is a wicked world. Be people, there are people, you see people that are so kind. You know, they don't look for anyone's trouble. They are so peaceful. They are so loving, and yet their life is cut short. Now, why do you think, why, why do wicked people tend to live longer? Wicked people. I'm, talk, I'm, not, I'm not just talking about, um, I'm not talking about um, like arm robbers or uh, cultists or gangsters, no. Those ones are not necessarily wicked, but they are just being violent. For example, you see gangsters, people who are street, street cults and all that, they, they get, they kill them on a daily basis. Arm robbers, these ones are just selfish people at their peak. I'm talking about wickedness. Wickedness in disguise. I'm talking about pure evil. Pure evil. Praise the Lord. Evil that even if they told you, you would believe. I'm talking about diabolism. When you see people that are grandmasters or mistresses of wickedness, you notice that they live long. Do you know why they live long? Because they live an offensive life. Now, let me explain what I mean by offensive. Offensive life means they are always out for the prey. They are always on attacking mood. Praise the Lord. Listen to me. When you are attacking, you are hardly attacked. <laughs> when you are attacking, you are hardly attacked. But when you are defending, they will keep attacking you. And when you are passive, you become a scapegoat. These evil men and women, they tend to live so long because they are always on the attacking mode. They are always after people. They are always attacking people. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me. If you want to be a Christian that will live to see the fulfillment of your days, then you must be a violent Christian in the spirit. You must be violent in the spirit. Now Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, he came like a lamb. That was why he was killed young. He died early. Because you, a lamb will not survive for too long like a wolf. Now, Jesus had to die for us. That is why he came like a lamb. If he has come like the lion of the tribe of Judah, nobody would have killed him. <laughs> now, Jesus came to die for us. He knew his mission was to die. And he didn't want to waste time to die. So, he had to come like a lamb. A peaceful lamb. And because he was a lamb, he was eaten up by wolves. But thank God it was a divine strategy. But when he came back as the lion of the tribe of Judah, he has not died ever since. He lived it forever. You see, you can only live long like a lion. When you are spiritually a lion, you live long. But when you are spiritually a lamb, you will be eliminated by the wolves of this world. You will be eaten raw by the wolves. He called Jesus Christ called the Pharisees. He said they are wolves, but in sheep clothing. That is pure evil. Evil you can't see. They are wolves, but they appear to you in sheep clothing. That is the wickedness we see in the world today. Evil people walking among us as normal people. Evil people looking like decent people. With raw wickedness. They are killing you. They are killing your family. And yet they are close to you, smiling with you. That is the evil of this world. It takes the lion to resist them. Praise the Lord. It takes the lion in you to resist them. Man, I don't tolerate nonsense. You are wicked around me. You can't survive. You cannot survive. I can't die for a wicked man. No, the wicked man and his generation will die for me. My children will not die for, the, for a wicked man. No, the children of the wicked and their generation will die for my children. Listen to me. Jesus died for me. I die for no one. Jesus died for me. I will not die for any wicked death. I will not die for any wicked death. You cross me, I return it back to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. That was what the church realized when Herod attacked them in Acts chapter 6. He took James and killed James. They were still gentle. James died. Peter was about to die. If Peter had died, the church would have ended because Peter was the foundation with which Jesus built the church. That's why you know how wicked the devil was. He took the foundation to kill it. But they said, no, 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 no. Somebody must die. And that is you, Herod. Herod fall and die. That was the prayer they prayed throughout that night. How do I know? 
the angel answered it because you will not pray a prayer and angel will answer another thing. The next morning, instead of Peter to die, Herod was struck down by the angel of the Lord. Listen to me. That wicked man that wants to undo you, that wicked man will fall for your sin. That wicked woman that thinks that they are going to finish you, you, they will, you will watch them finished by your God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we are focusing on prayer for protection. Back to sender prayers for protection. Back to sender what? Prayers for protection. I want you to pray this prayer with all your heart from the depth of your heart with me because God will manifest himself in your life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now listen to me. Before you will pray, rush, subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Give us a like. Share this video. This is a fire for fire channel. We don't, we don't play with the devil here. We don't play with the devil here. We don't play with wickedness here. You have somebody oppressing in your workplace, join this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Pray these prayers with us. You have somebody oppressing in your family, Subscribe to this channel. Pray this prayer with us. Listen, anybody that is a problem to your Christian testimony, pray these prayers with us and watch the God of back to sender in action in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you set to pray? Lift up your voice and pray this prayer with me. Say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. In the mighty name of God, begin to make that declaration right now as a child of God. No weapon, let go of us, form against me shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I declare, no weapon, form against me shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, no weapon, form against me shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon from the pit of hell. No weapon from the evil one. No weapon from my workplace. No weapon from my marriage. No weapon from my family. No weapon from my business, my career. No weapon against my health shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon from the pit of hell formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon. Formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon from the devil, from the enemy formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I surround myself with walls of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Impregnable walls of fire. In the mighty name of God, lift up and pray. I surround myself, I surround my children, I surround my family, I surround my going out and coming in with walls of fire, walls of fire, walls of fire, impregnable walls. Regenente, in Zomoto, Ziziga Nabada, I surround myself with walls of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rebanakatanama, Erodoko Shadama. I surround myself with walls of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I surround myself with walls of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I surround myself. I surround myself with walls of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I surround myself. I surround myself with walls of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I surround myself. I surround myself with walls of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I decree my going out and my coming in all through this year and beyond is protected in the name of Jesus. Lift up my prayer. I decree and I declare that my going out, either on foot, on air, in, on, the, on the bike, in the car, whatever means of going out and coming in, I use all through this year and beyond. They are protected in the mighty name of Jesus. I can never be a victim of accident of any kind in the mighty name of Jesus. My going out, my coming in, whatever means of transportation I use, 
my going out is safe. My coming in is safe. My going out is protected. My coming in is protected. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, my going out is protected. My coming in is protected. In the mighty name of Jesus, the angels of the Lord, they go ahead of me. They go ahead of me. They make every crooked pass straight. In the mighty name of Jesus, my going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, my going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, my going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Next prayer. I decree that no evil shall come near my dwelling for life. In the mighty name of Jesus, no evil. A thousand may fall at my right hand, ten thousand at my right hand. No evil will come near my dwelling. It doesn't matter what is happening all around the world. It doesn't matter the pandemic. It doesn't matter whatever is happening in the world. No evil will come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and prayer, prayer. No evil. No evil, no evil, no evil will come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that no evil from the pit of hell will come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree, I declare that no evil will come near my dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that no evil, no evil, Reba Natayadaba, Zizikerodo Shanda, no evil will come near my dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil will come near my dwelling, near the dwelling of my children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I declare, declare that my life is a no go area for the devil in the mighty name of the lift of the prayer. My life. This life is a no-go area, no-go area for the devil. In the mighty name of God, lift up your prayer. My life, my life is a no-go area for the devil. In the mighty name of God, rebe neke tene go shandalawa, rito si pre no si pre na, lende ne manto no mo skanda shalabuge. I decree and I declare that my life. Is a no go area for the devil in the mighty name of your man. The robo sekere bosa ride ko shagala mote ziziate ronamo shonalo. I decree that my life is a no go area for the devil in the mighty name of your separada barada rego santa namaya. My life is a no go area for the devil in the mighty name. Of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Next prayer, me. I declare today that me and my household we are exempted from every appearances of evil this year and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus, me and my household we are exempted from every trace of evil this year and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus, me am exempted, my children are exempted, my spouse is exempted. Me and my entire loved ones, we are exempted from every evil of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care what will happen this year. I don't care the number of evils that will happen this year. I don't care the number of deaths that will happen this year. It will not come near me and my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Me and my household, by the grace in the name of Jesus Christ, we are exempted from every evil of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Me and my household, my entire household, we are exempted from every evil of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Make this bold declaration. Me and my entire household, we are exempted from every evil of this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. I decree and I declare that I am dangerously protected. In the mighty name of Jesus, make that declaration this morning over your life. I am dangerously protected. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the day, dangerously protected. In the night, dangerously protected. In my going out, dangerously protected. In my coming in, dangerously protected. I am dangerously protected. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that I am dangerously protected in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I declare that I am dangerously protected. I am dangerously protected in the day, in the night. I am dangerously protected by going out and coming in. I am dangerously protected in my workplace. I am dangerously protected in my marriage. I am dangerously protected in my business and career. I am dangerously protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, I thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we are praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are dangerously protected. In the mighty name of Jesus, no evil will come near your dwelling this year. In Jesus' great name. Amen. I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. And you'll be glad you did. As you subscribe today, I see God do great works in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Join us in our next episode. It's going to bless you great deal. In the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Remember Pastor Thank you to your host at Everyday Prager Television. Remember, let's stay safe in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ketub Tineduma, and I'm your host at Everyday Prager Television. Today, we shall be continuing our Back to Sender Prayers using Psalm 35. Back to Sender Prayers using, using Psalm 35. And today, our our focus is going to be returning the evil arrows of enemies back to the center. Now, the enemies we are looking at today are enemies. People are people that are looking for a way to bring you down. People who don't wish you well. People who are mocking you. People who are laughing at you. People who are, who are, are, are happy to see you living a beggarly life. People who are happy to see you struggling in your marriage, struggling in your business, struggling in, your, in the areas that interest you or concerns you. People who are sitting on your promotion. People who don't want you to go up in line. People who are oppressing you. They have the means to help you, but they don't want to because they want to see you suffer. Those are the people we are praying against. Listen to me. God is an expert in humiliating mockers. God knows how to shut the mouth of mockers. He knows how to humiliate our enemies. God knows how to put to shame those that are mocking the grace of God upon your life. He knows how to do that. Praise the Lord. He knows, he knows how to do that. Now, listen to me. This year, you will, you will shock your enemies this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, the results in your life will shock the mouth of those that are mocking you permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to raise you from the dust of life and cause you to feast with nobles and inherit a glorious and palatable throne in the mighty name of Jesus. You are favored 360 degrees in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now listen to me. No enemy can stop your shine this year. The Bible said, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Now listen to me. While adversaries may need to go down, enemies need to be around to be humiliated. There are some of your enemies right now that they are not going to die. God is going to keep them alive to see your success at the expense of their, sh at, at their shame in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to keep them alive to see you become that thing that they said you will never become in the name of Jesus. God is going to keep some of your enemies alive. And they will see you get married. They will see you become a, a millionaire. They will see you become financially free. They will see you healed. They will see you get uh, get your marriage restored. They will see you get to that point in life where they have vowed that you will never get to. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So today we are going to be praying. Back to send our prayers against enemies. Using Psalm 35. Praise the Lord. Now, I want you to pray this prayer with all your heart. All your heart. Listen to me. When you pray prayers like this, let your heart be in it. Hallelujah. Because listen to me. Everyone that is mocking you now, God shall turn their mockery to mourning in the mind of God. They will begin to cry. They will begin to bow their head in shame because my God would have given you a result that will terminate the insults that they have insulted you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Are you set to pray? Quickly before we go to the prayers, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. This is a channel for you. You want to be blessed by prayers on a daily basis. You want this kind of prayers to bless you on a daily basis. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. And you'll be glad you did. As you subscribe today, I see God turn things around for your, in your life in the name of Jesus. I see God putting your enemies to shame at your blessings as you, as you are blessed by him in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Now lift up your voice and praise prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Lift up your voice and prayer, prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Lift up your voice and prayer, prayer. Father, I thank you for you are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my Lord, Jehovah my God, I thank you for you are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for you are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you for you are the God. You are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for you are the God, you are the God, you are the God, you are the God that prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Next prayer, Father, I thank you for your mercy that have not allowed my enemies to consume me, in the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice prayer, prayer, Father, I thank you for your mercies over my life that has not allowed my enemies to consume me in the mighty name of jesus the christ lord i thank you for your mercy upon my life that has not allowed the enemies to consume me in the mighty name of jesus the christ lord i thank you for your mercy thank you for your mercy because of your mercy my enemies have not consumed me because of your mercy they don't have the last laugh in my life thank you lord jesus thank you for your mercy pray that prayer over your life pray it over your life Thank you for your mercy that has not allowed the enemies to consume me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified, be thou glorified. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Next prayer. Oh God, disappoint all those who want me to fail this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer with all your heart. Oh God, disappoint all all those who want me to fail this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray prayer. My father, my fighter, disappoint all those who want me to fail this year in the mighty name of Jesus. My father and my Lord, disappoint all those who want me to fail this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, disappoint them, disappoint them, disappoint them. Rebbe neke teke teke te. Everyone that wants me to fail this year, disappoint them, disappoint them, disappoint them. In the mighty name of Jesus, they want me to fail in my marriage, disappoint them. They want me to fail in my business, disappoint them. They want me to fail in my ministry, disappoint them. They want me to fail in my health, disappoint them. They want me to fail in my career, disappoint them. They want me to fail in my vision, disappoint them. Everyone that wants me to fail this year, my Father and my Lord, disappoint them. Give them a mega disappointment package. In the mighty name of Jesus, give them a mega disappointment package. In the mighty name of Jesus, disappoint everyone that wants me to fail this year. Pray a prayer for yourself. Disappoint everyone that wants me to fail this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, let my prosperity shock my mockers this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let my prosperity shock my mockers this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and put a prayer. My Lord and my God, let my prosperity shock my mockers this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let my prosperity, let it shock them. Let it keep them in con constant shock. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let my prosperity shock 
my mocker this year. In the mighty name of God, pray that prayer. Hey, go sakate. Lord, let my prosperity shock my mocker this year. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, Marega Baba Yatara, Leko Soko Torobobosa. Lord, let my prosperity shock. Let it shock my mocker this year. Let my prosperity shock them. Let it shock them. Let it shock them. Let it shock them. Let it shock my mocker this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, let everyone who wish me evil. Be bitterly disappointed this year in the mighty name of the Oh Lord, let everyone who wish me evil, let evil return to them sevenfold this year in the mighty name of the Lift up your prayer, prayer. Oh God, let everyone that wish me evil receive evil sevenfold this year in the mighty name of the Makanda Lava Sekura Let everyone that wish me evil. Let evil return to them sevenfold this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let everyone that wish me evil, let evil return to them sevenfold this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let everyone that wish me evil, let evil become dead to them. Let evil return to them sevenfold this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the day, let them harvest evil. In the night, let them harvest evil. In the noon, let them harvest evil. If they are going out, let them harvest evil. If they are coming in, let them harvest evil. Everyone that wish me evil this year, evil return back to you sevenfold. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil return back to you sevenfold. In the mighty name of Jesus, evil return back to you sevenfold. Everyone that wish me evil this year, evil return back to you sevenfold. In the mighty name. Of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Next prayer let all those who want to hear news of my death let them be buried this year in the mighty name of God. Those whose ears are itching to hear news of my death, news of my downfall, let them be buried this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is itching to hear the news of my death, they will die my death. They will die in my place. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will witness their burial. In the mighty name of Jesus, anyone that wants to hear news of my death, they are wishing to hear news of my death, of my downfall. Lord, they shall all be buried this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it. Examine it, examine it. Everyone that is itching, their ears are itching to hear news of my death. They shall be buried this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. They, without faith, shall be buried this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. My Father, my Father, bless all those who bless me and curse Everyone that causes me in the mighty name of the lift up of us, pray, my father, my fighter, bless all those who bless me and curse everyone that causes me in the mighty name of the Makate Kosha Garabanda Zizoma Diadaraba Hindaraba. Oh God, everyone that blesses me, let blessing be their harvest. Everyone that causes me, Lord, let causes after causes rain upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, bless those that bless me and curse those that curse me. In the mighty name of Jesus, you told Abraham, I will bless them that bless you and everyone that curses you. I will curse, Lord. Anyone that pleases the curse of me, physically, spiritually, let that curse return back to them a hundredfold. In the mighty name of Jesus. And anyone that blesses me, let blessing return to them a hundredfold. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that curses me, let curses return back to them a hundredfold. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that blesses me, let blessings return back to them a hundredfold. Pray that prayer. My Father, my Lord, everyone that blesses me, let blessings return back to them a hundredfold. And everyone that causes me, let causes return back to them a hundredfold. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up a voice to heaven and begin to appreciate the Lord is a good God. Father, we give you praise. Jesus, we adore you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You have done it. Blessed be your holy name. 
For in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Keep praying this type of prayers on a daily basis. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Rush now. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Every day we pray here. And as you join us, you'll be blessed by these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So don't stop praying. Keep your prayer life on fire. The devil cannot perch on a hot Christian. Just like fly cannot perch on a hot stove, Satan cannot perch on a hot Christian. And what makes you hot is prayer. Fire for fire prayers. As you, as you subscribe to this channel today and join these prayers, the Lord bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll see you again in the next episode. Until then, my name is Remain Pastor Ketu Kuchilidum, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe. In Jesus' great name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ketu Kuchilidum and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Hallelujah. Today is the last series of our Back to Sender Prayers using Psalm 35. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in the, today's prayer, we're going to be giving God thanks for returning evil arrows of the enemies back to us, back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to be giving him thanks because we serve a God who is a God that knows how to take the battle to the camp of the enemies. He's the God of back to sender. Praise the Lord. And that God is already at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, the beauty about prayers like this is because you don't know those who hate you. You don't know those who are working against your life. Just like Daniel. Daniel was a man of prayer. He was a man of prayer. They did not see anything to hold him down but through his God. Now, Daniel did not even know that his worst enemies are people that are close to him. People that know his in and out. Daniel must have let those guys know his prayer routine because they understood him even to his house. They followed him to his house, which means these are people that knew Daniel's house. They must have visited him a couple of times to eat and dine with him, not knowing that they hated him in their heart. The world we are living in is wicked because there is no way they would have attack Daniel if they had not known Daniel's life. They knew everything about him because they were friends. But these people were adversaries to Daniel, wicked people. And Daniel did not know. He did not know until they were, they, they were killed. They were the one that manipulated the king to serve the Lord. They were the one that did everything. And they were the one that exposed Daniel. Daniel didn't expect it from them. But because Daniel was a praying person, their evil arrows returned back to the center. When you pray prayers like this, and your enemies try to take you on our it will backfire. Why? Because prayers like this are prayers that defend you from the wickedness of the wicked. Listen to me. Because you have prayed this 10-day prayer series, everyone that is trying to undo you this year, my God will undo them in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is trying to bring you down, they will bring themselves down. Anyone that is trying to overcome you, they will, over they will be overcome by your God in the name of of Jesus Christ, because you are a praying man. Now, do you know what the wife of Haman told Haman? He said, I didn't know that Mordecai was a Jew to whom you have begun to walk against. Truly, truly, if that man is a Jew, you will surely fall. He will lead you to your downfall. Why? Because Mordecai was a praying man. And the wife told Haman, He said, That man that you are after, that man will lead you to your destruction. Why? Because when you are a praying person, arrows of enemies return back to them. I don't, it doesn't matter whether you are aware of their evil works. You may not be aware of their conspiracy. You may not even be aware of their devices. You may not be aware of the traps that they have set for you. But because you are a praying Christian, because you pray, God is going to return their arrows back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now listen to me. Anyone that is planning against you secretly, my God is going to destroy them publicly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is working against you secretly, my God is going to destroy them publicly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to be giving him thanks for fighting our battles and for returning evil arrows back to the center. Now lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you for returning every evil arrows 
back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, I thank you, Lord, for returning every evil arrow of the enemies back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah, my Lord, I give you praise. Father, I thank you for returning every evil arrow of the enemies back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I give you thanks for returning every evil arrows of the enemies back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, I give you thanks for returning every evil arrow of the enemies back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer of thanksgiving. Father, I thank you for frustrating the wickedness of the wicked against my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank him now. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I thank you for frustrating the wickedness of the wicked in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. They are wicked devices. You have frustrated them. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for frustrating the wickedness of the wicked in my life in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my Father. I thank you for frustrating the wickedness of the wicked, all the wickedness of the wicked in my life in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. I give you praise, Father. I thank you for frustrating all the wickedness of the wicked in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Father, I thank you for sabotaging or for causing every evil conspiracy against my life to backfire. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and give him thanks. Father, I thank you for causing every evil conspiracy against my life to backfire. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I thank you, Lord, for causing every evil conspiracy against my life to backfire. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, I thank you for causing every evil conspiracy against my life to backfire. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Sikinu, I thank you for causing every evil conspiracy against my life to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for causing them to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Next prayer. Oh, Lord, thank you for sabotaging the devices of the enemies against my life, all their evil machinations. Father, I thank you for sabotaging them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for sabotaging every satanic devices of the enemies against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for sabotaging them. I thank you for sabotaging their satanic devices, their evil machinations against my life. Thank you, Lord, for sabotaging them. Thank you, Lord, for sabotaging their devices. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Father, thank you. For returning every evil desires of the enemies concerning my life back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, those that bless me are blessed, those that cost me are cursed. Thank you, Lord, for returning their evil desires. Their evil desires concerning my life. Thank you, Lord, for returning it back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, all their evil desires. Thank you, Lord, for returning it back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all their evil desires. Thank you, Lord, for returning it back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all their evil desires. Thank you, Lord, for returning it back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift up your voice and begin to give him thanks to the good God. Father, we thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are a good God. You are a good God. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen to me. You are blessed. You are protected. You are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And every, every evil machinations, every evil devices of the wicked against your life this year, they will backfire by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to congratulate you for joining this series. This is a series. For you in case you have not prayed all the prayers go to our playlist deliverance prayers warfare prayers you see all the series 
in this back to sender prayers. Pray them in the day, pray them in the night. They will bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus. And also, if you have not just subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe so that you can be part of our daily prayers on a daily basis in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are starting another series. We are starting another series before the end of February. We're going to kick off another powerful series. It's going to bless you. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. As you join, as you keep your prayer life on fire this year, the devil will have no space in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is the main pastor, Ketu Mutinidum, your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Remain blessed. Stay safe in Jesus' great name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah.